We go for the Labyrinth. Labyrinth goes for the fast tech. Similar to 120. Just play like 120. Labyrinth. Little bit of a bad boy image. Certainly. We saw it at Rara. Little bit of an entertaining loud mouth. I like it. Usually pretty confident in his skills. A very entertaining, super nice guy though. Here, he knows his odds are bad. His matchup versus Lawlight was the important one of the day. And now everything has to go in his favor. Question in chat. Do you think Happy will go home if he's eliminated here? Or will he stay? I think travel is booked from like Wednesday to Monday. And then you go back on Monday. It's all booked in advance. Otherwise. Like that's just the smart thing to do. Happy. DK Fiends. Labby DK Fiends. Fast tech by Labby. Can he put off one of the greatest upsets in competitive Warcraft in the past 15 years and eliminate Happy first round? Who oh, Happy is? Feels like Happy is a lot more focused or even more focused than before. Closer to the screen. High octane always. And Lappy decides to go for the middle already. With the tech done. This is the Naga timing. Lappy's strength is not Fiend's Destroyer. Unfortunately, the meta kinda dictates Fiend's Destroyers. He has a sick Dreadlord, by the way, that he could unleash at some point if the map allows it. Oh, Happy is here for the creep deck. He got the coil. Easy snipe. Hellstone for Labby. He might need that immediately. Yep, this is exactly how a mirror match versus Happy usually looks like. Sick creep check. There was nothing Labby could have done. I'm surprised he got the fast tech and is not and trying to claim middle control, but it's not going Naga. But nobody is. Two liches. Labby ahead in second hero. Happy ahead in tech. We got a level difference, by the way. With like one encounter. But Lebby got items. Devotion are really good. Scroll of the Beast, really good. Especially recently that we see less and less destroyers. Circle and Claw. DK is still hurt. Little bit of an invite. Could bait. Oh, now we got level 3. And now we can contest this. Who gets the hit? Oh, Happy did, of course. DK. Has to go for the health stone. Creep still alive. Labby. Fiends a little bit like Headless Chicken. Moves two to the side. Another Nova. Now scroll the beast. With only two fiends. Lich! Surrounded! No way! Happy never has a TP, but frees himself. Ooh, that was almost scary. And Labby shows that up to a certain point he can compete. Lich level 2 now. Oh, this was big. Do we have more Nova? We do. Forces another coil here. Is this... This is, this was the last coil. But no Nova on a Fiend. Now Dark Ranger is out. Bit more control. Happy Black Arrow. Knows that armies will separate for a bit. Rush for level 3 is on. But that was the Scroll of the Beast. That was the Health Stone. Ooh, 
happy he doesn't have gold at the moment. Can't catch up in heroes. Okay, now he does. Happy more levels. He is behind in lich levels. We'll even out. DK level at this point, not too important anymore. And you know, everybody was scared. So far, competitive. How will the fights look without these items? We'll see. Plus plus 8 for the Lich. Not bad at all. Plus 10 on Happy. Another Coil Force. Low mana on Happy. Very low mana. We've seen a huge difference in mana regen. Between Happy and 120. Curious how this will look now. So far, pretty even. As indicated by the Spirit Touch icon on the screen. Warp up. Lots of claws. Dark Ranger out. Silence first. Happy has no silence. Is that the advantage he needed? No level 2 Nova needs the coils. Here we go. No invo potion on Labby. But the destroyer for Happy is falling immediately. Labby well-timed web here. Defensive coil again to keep the Lich intact. That is quite an advantage to have Silence here. He forced the destroyer, nuked it immediately. But now Labby trying to retreat. He got a little win. Five supply gone, 300 gold gone. But he doesn't feel secure with the DK so low. No TP, no potion. There you go now. Labby can intercept pretty much everywhere. Oh, yeah, DK. Invis. Scouting the position, getting ready. I don't think he wants to fight without a level 2 Dark Ranger. Lich levels are worrying, though. Perfectly prepared, happy. That's level 2 Lich. No silence still, but the same problem for Labby. The DK is very, very, very hurt. Mana region looking good. And that's the problem. The DK. Yep. He was begging for it. He was begging for it. Since the end of the last fight. Labby also losing a Destro. That trading pretty evenly now. But without a DK. What do you do? Now the DK is back. But no mana. There's another Nova coming in. Happy is down in supply actually. But this is level 4. Aura level 2. Damage is still there. Can he get the Lich somehow? Somehow, not really. There is a coil and Labby has to retreat. There's two more kills up his sleeve. Brick ball, think about the sub. Lich level three. Happy can't be too confident here. Even though that fight was obviously very expensive. With a heal potion or invo potion, this fight is looking a lot different. Yeah, and, and now Happy knows. He got the scent. The hunt is on. And there is no way out for Labby, is there? Poor guy. That Lich being pretty much nuked immediately. That was the last coil for Labby. A mana potion is up, so he can stay in the fight a little longer. Maybe the last chance to get something done here. Sick saves. By happy just with micro no coil Lebby on the other side is losing unit after unit and that's another and that's another <sighs> dark ranger a little bit left alone good block but invo potion pass another dark ranger is safe again and that's the perfect time for the retreat as the mana is low Next up, another fiend kill, and finally level 3, and that was the last advantage that Labby had in this game. Supply was in favor of Happy, 
Usually the mana was in favor of Happy. The Lich Nova. He fought with being down a Nova. And he makes it look so easy. But this is obviously better. Creep Jack opportunity. Big mana though. Okay. Very, very, very helpful. Labby gets a kill, gets the level 4. That's mana potion time. Dark Ranger in a little bit of trouble, but so is the DK. Waiting for another Nova should be ready soon. Oh, no mana anymore for Labby on the Lich, unfortunately. Can't throw some more coils. Happy waiting for another coil that should be soon. Destroyer falling. That fiend is safe at the very least. Happy's Banshee transition is already done. And with anti-magic shield, like, there's no way in hell he's gonna lose this. With curse on the liches, with anti-magic on the heroes, like, there's no Hail Mary play possible anymore. And now he's starting to lose the coil battle battles. But again, we notice Labby regening a lot more mana. This has been... This has been the same against 1-2-0. That's odd. Hmm. Happy still firing on all cylinders. Intercepting again. Now, how do you come back? Just pure force of will with fiends. Of course, it's an elimination match against any other opponent. You could hope for like a stupid mistake that his opponent are getting Icarus syndrome and getting complacent, but not happy. Never, never, ever, 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 ever would that happen to him. And the items are good and the levels are good. It would be... It would not be normal if Happy is losing this. Fiends exchanged. Mana is an issue. Especially for the Liches. There's not too many coils anymore. Destroyer bust was a nice idea. Not really a bust. Like one destroyer with mana. If the statues are empty. Why not? Wow, four fiends versus one. Happy's fiend saves were an invite for a Nova to do the double kill. And I gotta say, I think a lot of people are surprised how close this is. If not for the DK kill. How would this game look? Always the question, but yeah. Labby, that was hard work. 15 minute game looked more or less even, but Happy is just one step ahead. So often. And takes the 1-0. -oh. No surprise there. Crippy. Both with the Crippy. Okay. Cryptlord versus Dreadlord is probably the most hyped mirror match, but... Crypt Lord Mirror. Alright, Labby. Show us your ghoul play. Show us your expansion play. Show us the things that made you famous. This is gonna be wild. Animal cruelty against beetles will happen on this map. 1000%. Is this expo then? It must be, right? I don't know if there's a meta in... The mirror matches on Terrana stand, to be honest. Yeah, Levy, Levy is the crazy underdog for sure. Back in the Dream Act days, this was the meta. This was played all the time. Happy went to wars with Vortex, especially. It's a lot about consistency here. Always make the right calls between Skeleton, Beetles, Impale, when to tech, when to expo, etc, etc. And that is not... Wait, it's Impale first by Labby? Oh, he 
got the priest. But Happy got the other priest. But Happy stole the Happy stole the creep, didn't he? Otherwise the crypto would be level two. Oof. What is this impale? First play. Shady Fox, thank you for the sub. I love B2W. I love the Shady Fox. Okay. Happy is not expanding yet. Big mana potion. Nice. They just had reverse... Free Browns. Oh, impale for the lightning shield camp and happy messed it up. Both with greater mana potions. Levy's expo is quite a bit faster. Oh man, that hurts now. That it's not level 3, Crypt Lord. And Happy is making his way over. This could be a quick one! This could be a very quick one. Defense, Labby. Defense. He got the level 3. Super important. Is it Impale 2? We've seen more and more Impale 2. And we got a narrow tower up here. Thoughts and prayers for Labby. But he got a good range army. Impaled by Happy is sweet though. No heal scrolls at this stage of the game. Happy still has a lot of necromancy, so more units in this fight. Ghoul Micro by Levy seems fine, but he's greeted by Impale over and over again. Happy splits look a lot cleaner. So much damage mitigation. And oh my god, Levy's ghouls are just falling apart. There's so many losses. Holy. There's six ghouls dead. Six ghouls dead. More impale now with impale too. But yeah, happy spread was just a lot better. And that's game. Yep, quick one it was. That expo would have fallen. Level 4 on the creepy for level 2 impale. That is the tempo that we expected to see. Quite a disaster of a game for Labby, unfortunately. But yeah, this is... Happy is crazy. And now he finds himself in the shoes that 120 was in. Lich aggression. What's he doing with that lich, though? No one to the Acolyte to take vision away. No skull. We are contesting the middle. Happy, already satisfied with that. With Lich, you have the range attack. You should be able to get damage in on the DK. That's exactly the way. Nova should always be able to secure the kills over Coil, because it has no traveling speed, that projectile. Oh, trying to prevent... Oh, no! Wait, did Labby get it? No, ha no, Happy got it, right? Oh, that's not allowed to happen, usually. He wanted to be a little cute, trying to hold on to the mana. But then Happy was there with the right click and the coil, and that's the kill. Okay, aggression now. During the tech, we move towards the base, forcing Happy into a narrow and a spirit tower. Yep, 
Yeah, that's that's the safety mechanism. You're in the lower bracket. That is your safety mechanism here against any crazy rushes. But there's constantly a skeleton in the base, which I love. Just to see if there's any shenanigans coming up. Cool run by. I really... Oh, this was a kill. Happy down to four acolytes during the tag. This is huge. And Lappy with the pause spike. Okay. Celebrate that victory, Lappy. Celebrate that victory. Happy will lose a lot of gold. He did have a huge spike. All right. Oh, Lich has no TP. Wait a minute, that one Acolyte, he denies him though. And it was only a level one Lich. We'll be back in a bit. Did he do enough? He killed and he killed two more. He killed two more. Three Acolytes down during tech. Yeah, the Lich kill is a bit problematic and two ghouls falling as well is not ideal. But Lich is back in no time. And Labby will have a gold advantage. Happy still got level 2. Off of this... Lich kill. Oh, Labby's graveyard is late. He was a bit overwhelmed, I think. Oh, Fiend's a little left alone, but Dark Ranger second is a wonderful counter. Two ghouls, a couple of shots, a bit of focus fire, and then ghouls are turned into skeletons. But Lich is back, gets to level 2 as well. And Happy still has to work on Acolytes. Labby is playing a bit of a dangerous game here. Super low supply, instead mega fast tech. This is his advantage. The tech. And burst damage. Happy's Lich will be under leveled for quite some time. And he knows he has some time now, leveling up the Dark Ranger. Wolves will fall off in like... Three minutes or so. Until then, they can help creeping a lot. Oh, Lumber is super low. Couldn't afford a statue. Now he can. But now he... Ah. Almost supply block. Okay, gonna get level 3 DKs out as well. Lemmy has a shot here. But can he hit his timings? He still got 5 ghouls. How did he lose 2 ghouls recently? Ah, it's been 90 seconds ago, okay. Yeah, I don't think you need Frenzy in this scenario. Except for Lumber. Supply, even, levels. Kind of even. But we need more time. When can Labby strike? He has a statue advantage. 
has a tech advantage. He has the Lich in the base for an orb. I hope. Oh, he doesn't? He's also not close to a tavern. Like, it's a bit off. Feels like... Levy is wasting a bit of time. To me. This could be a bit more streamlined. But yeah, it's also getting late. Now we got an orb. Now we got a dark ranger. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting there. Happy his tier 3 is up too. And what's the fast tech good for? If not that timing. It's only it's only 38 food. Creep Jack. But the creeps are gone. It's just the Jack. Fiend get ensnared though. Okay, that is lovely. Instant kill. Labby with a bit of momentum. A little bit, but Labby with a risky play, trying to take the red spot away. Happy definitely knows what's up. Couple of gifts for the Lich. Boom. That's plus eight damage. And it's the creep jack. Shoes on the other foot. Labby should have known this, I think. Not sure. L DK is oh so close to three, but not fully. No web against destroyers. Not even destroyers. Bro. Happy is a madman. Losing three acolytes during tech, no problem. Levy lost a lot of ghouls in the process, though. It was noticeable. Okay, that is level 3. That is also level 2, hopefully? Yes. Levels are up there now. Still. Why does Levy have 600, 700 gold? No items, I guess. Happy invested into Invul and Heal Scroll. Dark Ranger, naked, all items on the ledge. Feels like Happy can do whatever he wants. Labby, too much respect. Not contesting enough. Happy is faster if you leave him alone. Always. This might be Labby's final fight. At Rara Land, he made it top six. Here at Dubai, top eight might be his end. Oh man, this army is all over the place. What's Labby's army doing? The ghouls are everywhere, but not in this fight. Oh no. I don't know what they were doing there on the other side. Must have been a massive, massive misclick. Trying, okay, setting up a backstep now, but the destroyer is already gone. The fiend is at 50%. Labby on the map looks like he, uh, he, like, feels like he looks on the player cam. Poor, poor, poor Labby. A lot of time for sightseeing tomorrow. Happy outplayed him hard. That's what happens usually when Happy's in a mirror match, except against 1 2 0. That is especially happening. He got level 3 Lich. That's crazy. The Hail Mary doesn't function. Happy lost 4 Fiends. That is quite a bit, but 3 destroyers. This entire strategy was based on a destroyer push. This is. 30 and 0 in maps. Despite losing three acolytes. That's so efficient. Ah! Leaves the item on the ground! Trying to stay. Yeah, there's the coil. It's just healthy again. We're waiting for the nail in the coffin, guys. We're waiting for the curtain to fall. The fat lady to sing. 
as much as we would love to see a massive upset. Now. No, no, no. Not when Happy has these heroes. Is 20 food ahead? No. That ain't happening. GG! Oh, Lebby knows again, again, again. And Happy with a little bit of redemption, but he still has a Hercules task ahead of him in the days to come. Lower bracket tomorrow versus either Starbuck or Fortitude. Yes, we could get Happy versus Fortitude, the rematch of the grand final of January in the second round lower bracket. And that is absolutely crazy. That is terrifying to have this stacked bracket here. Poor Labby, not his day. I think he lost his tournament in the winner bracket versus Lord Lion. If you face Happy, you know that ain't happening.